comes the Yaki Soba Challenge here at the Yaki New... Wow, look at that. That looks good. This is the Tanuki food truck in Taiwan. So I just arrived in Taiwan and look at this. This is my Airbnb. I got a Hello Kitty themed Airbnb. It's so cute. There's even Hello Kitty designs on the wall. Oh my God, I love this. I love this so much. It's so adorable. Anyway, like I said, I just arrived in Taiwan. So I'm back here. I cannot wait to do content here for you guys and show you all around Taiwan. It's, I love coming here. It's so fun. And of course the food is amazing. So let me get ready. Let me get settled in and we're going to go out and explore. All right, you guys. And our first adventure here in Taiwan, I, am, I stopped by this food truck. This is the Tanuki food truck that does a massive yakisoba challenge. Yakisoba is basically a Japanese version of their uh, chow mein. And yeah, they have a massive like eight pound bowl. It's gonna be crazy, but I'm excited. It smells so good. I have jet lag. It's like 11 a.m. right now, but it's afternoon in at home because I just got here. So I'm, I'm coming like, kind of sleepy, but I tried to kind of like fast for this. So I haven't eaten anything. I'm so hungry, ready to take this on. So this is, here it is on the menu. They have pictures of people trying this out. See that 3.5 kg, which is around seven, eight pounds. So a lot of people have tried this and it looks delicious. The plates are right over here and it's a massive plate. And in their food truck here, they are about to start on making the yakisoba. We got some onions. Is that, is that green onions? Bell pepper? It looks like bell pepper. Okay. And then healthy vegetables. All right, got some carrots. So we're gonna do all the vegetables first. So I'll pay them up a little bit. And right here's all the lettuce and cabbage. Cool. Nice. It smells really good already, actually. And in comes all the, oh my God, look at all those noodles. Wow, that, that, that is a lot of noodles. My goodness. Gotta eat all that for a challenge. That's crazy. Oh, and that is a special yakisoba sauce. Cool. Let's go in. Yakisoba is a little bit sweet. It's got like a so, uh, kind of like a teriyaki flavor. So I can definitely smell that now. This is like a savory, sweet stir fry noodle. Wow, look at that, look at that noodle bowl. Amazing. Pretty much. <laughs> that is so much noodles. Okay, we're gonna put that all up in that container. Wow. You know, I'll be honest, when I first researched this, it didn't look like it was this much. When we see it up close, this is a lot of freaking noodles. Oh my God, look at that, it's that entire tray. So the scale is at zero right now. He's gonna just weigh it out to make sure that's 3.5 kg. So this is definitely something I really love about Asia. They're very, like very on point with the amount of noodles, like the weight size. So right now it's like 3.8 kg. He's gonna take a little bit off to made it exactly 3.5. Okay, there it is. On top, and a little bit of Zuzuma, seaweed. Oh yeah, seaweed seasoning, that's cool. Okay, and then some pickled ginger for a little bit of color. Beautiful. Here comes the yakisoba challenge here at the Yaki New... Wow, look at that. That looks good. This is the Tanuki food truck in Taiwan. So this challenge, there's two different time limits. If you finish it within 30 minutes, you get a thousand dollar cash prize. If you finish it within 45 minutes, you get the meal for free. Otherwise, it's 666. All right guys, so here it is. I'm also joined in today, today with Nikki. She is a content creator here in Taiwan. So excited to meet her. This is my first time of doing a collab with her. So, yeah, how long have you been doing food challenges? How long have you been doing food challenges? Oh, okay. So she's been doing challenges for three years now. So, super excited to meet her. We're going to get this win. Okay, guys. So, this challenge that we got today here at Tanuki Food Truck, you have 45 minutes to complete this in 
order to get it for free. But if you finish it within 30 minutes, you also get a $1,000 Taiwanese money cash prize, which is about $30 USD. Otherwise, this plate will cost you 666 NTD, which is roughly $25 ish. It's actually not too bad for a challenge. So I'm so excited. Let's get ready. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go! All right, guys, so this was a super delicious challenge. I started the uh, trip off very strong with a very massive uh, challenge here. This is eight pounds of yakisoba, which is essentially, I, I mentioned earlier, it's like a um, Japanese chow mein. It's very sweet in flavor uh, compared to the Chinese one, um, but I actually really like that. It had a, it didn't become like super salty over time, and yes, there was mayo, but I didn't like the mayo with the noodles. Also, if you want to see the uh, the full version, I have the full version available on Facebook and TikTok where it's not edited. I just want to speed things up a little bit here because it does take a while to get through that much noodles, and I'm very happy to do this with Dicky. Um, and this trip, actually, I'm gonna. Give you a little bit of spoiler i'm actually going to be meeting a lot of taiwanese content creators and competitive eaters and i'm really happy to be part of the uh, taiwanese community so she's very nice everybody in taiwan is so nice i love the community here and i wouldn't have known about all these challenges if it wasn't for them because i always ask questions i can speak chinese but i actually cannot read chinese at all Also in the middle here, you can see I told, um, I, I, I was a I asked to unzip the back of my dress because it was very tight. Um, I had to kind of like get a little bit of, um, my dress is very tight, so I had to open that up to get that space. And after I unzipped my dress, I feel like I had like a second stomach. I'm not even joking. Uh, all the noodles just flowed through me. I was like, all right, I can eat, keep eating because this actually ended up being very heavy in the middle. Um, but yeah, for this, uh, it, I don't really have any specific technique I go into this because this was just all noodles. It was just a whole bunch of carbs and there was barely any vegetables. So it's just eating a lot of noodles. But either way, I had a lot of fun and you can see I'm also, I have my typical uh, Coke Zero with me. I also added in some tea just because it's a little bit sweet and since Coke Zero is also sweet, I didn't want to have an overflow and taste of uh, sugary stuff. So that's that's um, um, how it was. Eventually I got to like the last couple of bites and it the overall uh, difficulty is not too bad it's just a lot of noodles but I had it was very very delicious all right guys last bite here we go
Oh, by the way, because I know there's going to be comments. This is no sugar green tea. And this is a yogurt drink. In Asia, yogurt drinks are very popular and I really think it helps with like the digestive system from there. It's like sour sweet. It's very sweet actually. It's like a sour sweet yogurt drink. It's very popular in Asia. I think if you try to zip up my dress right now, it's not gonna happen. So I'm wearing a sports bra in here, so it's fine. <laughs> you know, at one point in my head, I was thinking, if I was really desperate, I would have to like take it off and ask to take off the strip so I can wear your shirt. Because <gasps> I need this whole part loose to eat. But it's okay, unzipping was fine. <laughs> I was like, man, we should have bought the extra piece. The regular portion here, this is only 80 yen. That's crazy. 80 yen is like, it's gonna have dollars. And it comes with a cute mental box and it's reusable. Isn't that amazing? That's so cute. Find yourself in Taiwan, I would definitely recommend check, checking out Tanuki food truck. Tanuki means a raccoon in Japanese, and so that's what the uh, logo is. It's a raccoon. It's so cute. Japanese, Japanese raccoon. Yeah. Oh, so like, like more like the reddish one, right? The fat, the Japanese raccoon. Nikki just finished hers. Good job. I know that was very tough. Good job, good job. Make sure to check out her channel. I'll put all her stuff in the description down below. Alright guys, we did it in less than 30 minutes. We're gonna get a $1,000 press from boss. Thank you so much. We did it! Woo! So that was such a fun experience. Definitely very happy that I got to meet Dickie. Definitely check out her stuff. She's super sweet, as is with everybody here in Taiwan. So great start to my trip. Oh, okay, but that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more adventures, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!